In this video I would like to introduce one trick for 3D modeling and animation of a set of the timing belt and pulley. The timing belt and pulley modeled and animated are shown now. The modeled pulley is such a type without flange. This is the scene, edited by video editing software, to see the situation with increased running speed. And the running speed is increased much higher. As a 3D modeling software, FreeCAD, version 0.19 or 0.20, was used, and the assembling and animation were done on the assembly for workbench. Type of the timing belt and pulley selected here is based on the 5MHTD type. Its pitch length is 5mm and number of teeth of the pulleys are set to be 40 and 60. Let's check the sketch dimensions that are the basis for this modeling. The pitch diameter of each pulley becomes 63.662 mm and 95.493 mm respectively, obtained by multiplying the number of teeth by the pitch length and dividing by pi. I wanted the length between the center points of two pulleys to be around 240 mm and the exact length was determined as follows. First, I decided the overall length of the belt. The length of the belt region running in a straight line between the two pulleys is about 240 mm, and the lengths in contact with the two pulleys are roughly about half the circumference of each pulley. So, I decided the total length of 730 mm, which is the sum of 240 times 2, 40 times 5 divided by 2, and 60 times 5 divided by 2. Now, in order to get the exact length between the two pulley centers, the spreadsheet can be used so that the total length become as close to 730 mm as possible by trial and error method, but, there is automatic calculator on the web, where we can easily get the result, 239.471 mm. This is the sketch with exact dimensions applied. The inclination of the belt become 3.81 degrees. Pulleys are modeled. Changing the placement angle in the pulley data, the pulley reacts quickly. For modeling the belt, I tried to align the teeth along the whole belt track using the array tool in the draft workbench, but could not get any solution. So, instead of forming one body, I divided the belt into four bodies, the two curved bodies that rotate in contact with the pulleys, and the upper and lower bodies that run in a straight line between the pulleys. First, one curved body that contact the 40T pulley is modeled. Changing the attachment angle in the sketch data, the teeth are rotated. It takes a little time to react. The straight running belt body, moving from left to right in the assembly, was modeled extending to the outside of the 40T pulleys, and made the extended region invisible, by pocket tool. By changing the sketch dimension deciding the location of the pad for the initial base tooth, the teeth were moved. It took a little time to react. But, animating in assembly for workbench took a lot of time, mainly caused by the moving of these two straight bodies and the two curved contact bodies. And then, I tried modeling in several other ways that I could think of. In every case, it took about 6 to 16 seconds to move only one step, so it couldn't be called as animation. Now, I introduce my trick to animate the straight running belt body. First, the flat region of the straight running belt body, excluding the teeth region, is created as a separate body, using the pad tool. It doesn't move. 
OK. And then, the teeth region as another separate body, is modeled to overlap as much as possible, on the curved belt body in contact with the left 40 T pulley, by extending its length to left side, so that the teeth move from left to right. The dimension data is adjusted, so that the position of the teeth shown in wireframe mode, fits well with the profile of the groove of the pulley. This is the wireframe view of the teeth body for the straight running belt. Pad 23 is the base tooth, and pad 22 is prepared for making linear pattern of pad 23. Pocket tool is used to hide the protrudes out of the curved belt body. The extension is not visible apparently, in as is mode. The flat body and teeth body for the lower straight running belt are modeled in the same way. Since the direction of belt travel is opposite in this case, it is modeled at the bottom of 60 T pulley side and extended to the right side. Now, this is the data for the animation of the two pulleys in assembly for workbench, in which the variable is designated as rotation R. The rotation angle of one pitch of the 40 T pulley becomes 9 degrees, that is 360 divided by 40, and the rotation angle of the 60 T pulley is 6 degrees for one pitch. For the animation of the straight running teeth body of the belt, during one pitch rotation of 40 T pulley, since it moves along its path by 5 millimeters, which is one pitch length, it moves 5 times cosine 3.81 millimeters on the X axis, and 5 times sine 3.81 millimeters on the Y axis. Here, the remainder expression is applied, to make this straight running teeth of the belt move repeatedly, only as much as the distance, overlapping with the curved belt body. At the sketch, the length of the overlapped region in the sketch is a little longer than 10 mm, which is 2 pitch length, the divisor of the remainder expression is specified 18, which corresponds to the rotation angle of the two pitches. For the animation of the lower straight running teeth body of the belt, the same method is applied. Only the moving direction is opposite. In addition, the pocket for creating the teeth, in the curved body of the belt, in contact with the pulley is deleted, and pad only remains, because the rotation of the pulley only, makes it look as if a curved belt body with teeth, is also rotating. And finally, the text, written on the pulleys, are applied using the RC circular text macro. This is the animation video in FreeCAD. It takes less than one second to move one step in animation. What do you think? Thanks for watching.